Did you know that your kidneys, those small bean-shaped organs tucked neatly away in your lower back, play a vital role in your overall health? These silent heroes of the human body perform a myriad of essential functions that keep us ticking along nicely, day in and day out. Among their many roles, kidneys act as the body's natural filter system, sifting through about 200 quarts of blood each day to remove waste products and excess fluids, and that's not all. They also help maintain a healthy balance of water, salts, and minerals, such as sodium, calcium, phosphorus, and potassium, in your blood. But wait, there's more. These powerhouses are also responsible for releasing hormones that regulate your blood pressure, maintaining homeostasis, and keeping your arteries functioning properly. They even stimulate the production of red blood cells by releasing a hormone called erythropoietin. So, you see, your kidneys are quite the multitaskers. They're working around the clock without you even realizing it, ensuring that all systems in your body are running smoothly. But here's the kicker. These crucial organs are also susceptible to damage, and the scary part is, a lot of this damage can come from our everyday habits. Yes, you heard that right. Certain habits, which we often consider harmless, can inflict serious harm on our kidneys. These habits can range from the foods we eat, the drinks we consume, to even the type of medications we use. Over time, these can take a toll on our kidneys, causing them to underperform or worse, fail altogether. And the worst part? Kidney damage is often silent and manifests only when it's already quite advanced. Now, you might be wondering, what are these habits that could be destroying my kidneys? Let's dive in. The first habit that can damage your kidneys is not drinking enough water. Dehydration can lead to a slew of kidney-related issues, chief among them being kidney stones. These are hard deposits made of minerals and salts that form inside your kidneys and can be incredibly painful to pass. Consuming less than the recommended daily water intake, which is about 8 cups, can increase your risk of developing these stones. But it's not just about kidney stones. Dehydration can also lead to chronic kidney disease, a condition characterized by the gradual loss of kidney function over time. Water plays a vital role in helping your kidneys filter waste from your blood, regulate body temperature, and even maintain blood pressure. So, don't skimp on the H2O. Remember, your kidneys need water to function properly, so make sure you're drinking enough each day. Our second habit that could be harming your kidneys is consuming too much sodium. Sodium, a key ingredient in your table salt, is essential for your body. However, when consumed in excess, it becomes a silent adversary to your kidneys. Let's understand how. When we overload our system with sodium, it causes our body to retain water. This increased volume of water raises our blood pressure. High blood pressure as we know is a silent killer. It not only affects our heart but puts a tremendous strain on our kidneys as well. Over time, this strain can lead to kidney damage, reducing their ability to filter out toxins effectively. So, while that extra pinch of salt might make your meal taste better, it's silently contributing to a potential health crisis. Moderation is the key when it comes to sodium intake, so think twice before adding that extra pinch of salt to your meal. The third habit that's a potential kidney destroyer is the overuse of over-the-counter painkillers. This might come as a surprise to many, after all these are the go-to remedies for headaches, muscle aches and other minor discomforts. But here's the thing. These seemingly harmless pills when used frequently and over a long period can have a detrimental impact on your kidneys. How so? Well, drugs like ibuprofen and naproxen, commonly referred to as non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs or NSAIDs, can reduce blood flow to the kidneys. This can lead to a condition known as analgesic nephropathy, a type of kidney damage linked with prolonged use of these drugs. Now you might be wondering, what does reduced blood flow to the kidneys actually mean? In simple terms, your kidneys, among their many functions, act as your body's filtration system. They filter out toxins from your bloodstream so that these can be expelled from your body. But when the blood flow to your kidneys is reduced, they can't perform this vital function as efficiently as they should. This can result in a buildup of toxins in your body, which can lead to chronic kidney damage. Another thing to consider is that these drugs can cause fluid retention, which increases the pressure on your kidneys and can further exacerbate the damage. So you see, the adverse effects of these common painkillers are not as insignificant as they might seem. But this doesn't mean you should avoid painkillers altogether they can be beneficial when used appropriately. The key here is moderation. Overuse is what can lead to problems. So the next time you reach for that pill bottle, remember to consider the potential impact on your kidneys. Consult your healthcare provider if you find yourself needing these medications frequently. 
Painkillers can be helpful, but remember, moderation is key. And that's not just true for painkillers, but for most things in life. So let's make a conscious effort to keep our kidneys healthy by being mindful of our daily habits. Habit number four is the excessive consumption of sugar. Now you may be wondering how does sugar affect the kidneys? Let's delve into that. High sugar consumption is directly linked to obesity and diabetes, two major risk factors for kidney disease. When we consume a large quantity of sugar, our bodies struggle to keep up with the insulin demand. This can lead to insulin resistance, a precursor to diabetes. Diabetes in turn can cause damage to the small blood vessels in the kidneys. Moreover, high sugar intake can lead to weight gain and obesity. Extra weight puts additional strain on the kidneys, impairing their ability to filter blood effectively. Over time, this could potentially lead to chronic kidney disease. So, the sweet truth is that sugar isn't as sweet for your kidneys. It's important to moderate your sugar intake, not just for your kidneys, but for your overall health. Try to moderate your sugar intake to keep your kidneys healthy. The final habits that can harm your kidneys are smoking and excessive alcohol consumption. We've all heard it before, smoking is bad for your health. But did you know it's also one of the leading causes of kidney disease? That's right, the toxins in cigarette smoke can cause significant damage to your kidneys over time. These toxins can increase the heart rate, tighten blood vessels, and raise blood pressure, which can all lead to kidney disease. They can also increase the number of red blood cells, making your blood thicker and more likely to clot, which can block the blood flow to the kidneys. And it's not just active smokers who are at risk. Secondhand smoke can also harm your kidneys. So, it's not just about your own habit, but also about the environment you're in. Quitting smoking or staying away from smoke-filled environments is one of the best things you can do to protect your kidneys. As for alcohol, it's all about moderation. Drinking alcohol in excess can cause high blood pressure, heart disease, and liver disease, all of which can harm your kidneys. Alcohol can also cause dehydration, another risk factor for kidney disease. It's important to know your limits and drink responsibly. That could mean limiting yourself to one drink per day for women and two drinks per day for men, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention guidelines. But remember, everyone is different, and what works for one person might not work for another. It's always a good idea to talk to a healthcare provider about what's best for you. They can help you understand your risk factors and guide you in making healthier choices. In conclusion, both smoking and excessive alcohol consumption are habits that can severely harm your kidneys. By being mindful of these habits and making necessary changes, you can significantly reduce your risk of kidney disease. Remember, your kidneys are vital for your health and it's crucial to protect them. So, there you have it the top five habits that could be destroying your kidneys. We've delved into the perils of dehydration, high sodium intake, overuse of painkillers, high sugar consumption, and the twin threats of smoking and alcohol consumption. Each of these habits, seemingly harmless or even enjoyable in the moment, can have dire consequences for your kidney health over time. It's imperative to remember that your kidneys, these two small organs, play a vital role in maintaining your overall health and well-being. They are the silent heroes working tirelessly to filter out toxins and waste from your body. So why not give them the care they deserve? It's never too late to start making healthier choices to break free from these damaging habits and pave the way for a healthier, happier you. If you enjoyed this video and got any value from it, please like and subscribe for more quality content. Thank you.